George knew his future was assured now that he was apprenticed to the greatest chef in all of Germany. Soon, I will be the greatest chef in all of Worms. Now, I just need a hot babe to marry. But one day, George was walking home from work when he saw a beautiful maiden, and he decided that he simply has to find out who she is. So he tried to follow her, but he could not catch her. Knock. Hi, my name is George, and soon I will be the finest chef in all of Worms. All I need now is a bride to share my good fortune. Oh, I would love to meet you, but my parents are deathly ill. Maybe we can meet tomorrow. If you tell me your name, I will meet you tomorrow. My name is Carmelita! That night, George could not fall asleep. He tossed and turned until almost midnight, and finally he slept. He dreamt that he followed Carmelia through the streets of the city, just as he had done that day. But in his dream, she continued into a forest. He followed her until he reached a very old tree. He hoped she would turn around so he could see her beautiful face. But before she did, he woke up. Damn it! It was time to go to work. Next day after work, George returned to Kamalita's house and knocked three times. Oh, George, it's so lovely to see you, but my parents are still sadly ill. Maybe we can meet up tomorrow. God willing, we shall meet tomorrow. Take care! That night, George lay down to sleep, and once again, he just could not fall asleep. Until after midnight, he tossed and turned, and finally fell asleep and dreamt. He dreamt that he saw Carmelia in the forest. She walked to an old tree, and then to a little hut, and went inside. He crept close and peeked through a crack in the door, and there he saw Carmelita facing the fireplace and stirring a blood red breath. Just when he thought that she would turn around, he walked. Come on, I wanted to see your face. It was time to go to work. <clears throat> Next day after work, once again, George showed up at Carmelita's house and knocked three times. The door remained closed, but from inside, he heard a lovely voice. Hey, George, my lovely prince. I'm so sorry, but my parents are still deathly ill. But tomorrow at midnight, I'll be sure to meet you by the big, big bush next to your house. Wait, how do you know where I live? <laughs> You're such a dork. Haven't I visited you in your dreams for the past two nights? That's right. You did visit me in my dreams these past few days. I'll be sure to meet you there at midnight. That night, George came to the big bush to wait for his lovely Carmelita. Where but is as, she? as midnight approached, he became very tired and had to lay down and fall asleep. That night, he dreamt about his Carmelita. That night, George dreamed that he was peeking through a little door of the hut when he saw his lovely Carmelita mixing something in a red pot. Come on in, my love. I've been waiting for you. George was still asleep when suddenly Carmelita appeared and peered quietly at his face before bending over. In his dream, Carmelia slowly turned around to reveal her face, but it was not the face of a beautiful young maiden. It was the face of a crazy old hag who swooped down on him. George screamed and screamed, but not a sound came out because all the blood has been drained from his body and his heart had stopped. 